In every relationship, there's a bull and a cow. It just so happens that in this relationship right here with me and you, I'm the bull. You're the cow. It appears that Ben Affleck has a thing for ladies named Jennifer, since he has rekindled an old love with a newly separated Jennifer Lopez. How is it possible for the Dark Knight to embrace the light for the second time around? Curious? Well, stick around to the end to hear what Ben Affleck has to say about Jennifer Lopez. If there was the It couple in the early 2000s, it was definitely Benifer. You can even try and ask your older cousin or sibling about them, and they'll tell you all the details. But in case they have forgotten about it, then here's a little refresher. In what was probably the holy grails of romantic comedies, the early 2000s paved the way for many of the all-time greatest rom-coms like Bride Wars, Legally Blonde, Bridget Jones's Diary, and The Princess Diaries. Still, we don't lay our scene in any of those movies. Both Jennifer and Ben were rising Hollywood actors when they met on the set of Geely, a 2003 rom-com about mobsters, kidnapping, sexual confusion, a broken thumb, and of course, love. But the movie was considered one of the most expensive box office bombs, as it had only grossed a total of $7.2 million, despite its $75.6 million budget. Yikes! The movie was highly publicized and had tons of media coverage, but one thing good that came out was that it was one of the reasons for the budding romance between the two leads, Affleck and Lopez. So even though the movie bombed, it turned into something fruitful, a kindling romance specifically. During this time, Jennifer was still one half of Hollywood's shortest-lived celebrity marriages with ex-husband choreographer Chris Judd. After the divorce became official, Ben and Jennifer wasted no time making their relationship publicly official. Reportedly, JLo's first impression of Affleck was, and I quote, "...sometimes I feel like what you think people are, and how you see them when you love them, is different than when they reveal later." And this was the start of the it couple we know to be Benefer. This was followed by several public appearances of the two being all lovey-dovey, and in JLo's iconic music video, Jenny from the Block, Affleck made a cameo that made all the fans swoon. In the scene, JLo was in a hot pink bikini and was sunbathing with Ben Affleck with a white tank top, followed by a rather graphic scene of Ben having fun with JLo's bottom. The music video also showed scenes that symbolized how well-documented Ben and Jen's relationship was. In November 2002, the couple announced their engagement, more Jenny showing her ring around the block, I suppose. In an interview with Diane Sawyer, the songstress revealed a gorgeous pink ring that was a 6.1 carat pink diamond from Harry Winston and cost a hefty $2.5 million. If you think that's fast, well, it's about to go on reverse because in September 2003, they announced that they postponed their wedding and ultimately their relationship. Benefer's breakup not only caused enough emotional turmoil for them, but many rooting fans all over the world. But you know what they say, if it's true love, it'll come back to you. Let's see how true that is, shall we? Sources told Page Six that one of the reasons they broke up was because although their love was passionate, they weren't exactly going in the same direction regarding the future of their relationship. The insider elaborated this by saying Jennifer was ready to settle down and have kids, but Ben wasn't keen on giving up his bachelor lifestyle just yet. In the end, she got tired of waiting for him to come around, even though it broke her heart to end things. JLo has openly shared that she always felt like Ben was her the one that got away. Not long after, and much like Cleopatra, JLo had found herself head over heels for Mark Antony. JLo discloses that this was her first real heartbreak and that she was lucky for Mark, detailing that, Mark came into my life three days after I should have been at the altar saying I do to another man. That must have hurt for Ben, but he and Lopez had to go on to live their separate lives, with JLo getting married to Mark Anthony and having twins. Meanwhile, Affleck married American actress Jennifer Garner and bore three children together. From here, the lines between them coming back together were getting blurrier and blurrier because they both seemed happy and settled. JLo was finally settling down as she wanted and Ben was getting over the rich bachelor lifestyle. As I said, the two lived separate lives, so let's elaborate more on them, shall we? Garner and Affleck married in 2005, separated in 2015 and finally divorced in 2018. After 10 years of marriage, they now have a tremendous co-parenting situation. They are showering their three kids, Violet, Serafina, and Samuel, with all the love they can ever give. During their separation, Garner explained that all eyes were on her and her kids because the paparazzi had widely covered the break and further caused unwanted attention for the children. Garner said that parenting was hard with everyone's eyes on them, but it's evident in her decisions that all she really cares about are the kids. It's apparent that Ben also shares the same devotion for the kids, 
seeing as just recently, Affleck split with 33-year-old Cuban-Spanish actress Ana de Armas to be closer to his children in Los Angeles. Sources revealed to People she broke it off. Their relationship was complicated. Ana doesn't want to be Los Angeles-based, and Ben obviously has to since his kids live in Los Angeles. At least we know that Ben is a good dad. Now, as to what Garner has to say about the whole thing, well, she doesn't care for the fanfare or drama. She cares about how Affleck's new romance might affect their three kids. An insider spoke for Jen and said that as long as he's there for them as a father, then she's happy. Jen is absolutely fine with Ben dating J.Lo, but she just doesn't want to get caught up in its frenzy. She likes to keep her life somewhat private but supports whatever decision Ben makes as long as he's happy, healthy, and makes their children a priority, which he always has. So, I guess you can say that Jen and Jen are A-OK. -okay. Let's hope Ben doesn't forget his daddy duties, and from the looks of it, he probably won't. Moving on to the other side of the ring, the Love Don't Cost a Thing singer has actually spent quite a lot on her weddings, because after she called it quits with Mark Anthony in 2011, she had several rumored relationships and then got re-engaged to the former Yankees baseball player Alex Rodriguez. Yes, the same A-Rod that caused Cameron Diaz and Kate Hudson's little feud. Well, the guy's got actual game, seeing as he was able to date such women, but hey, if you're rich and famous, why not? Well, the couple was first linked in 2017, moved in together in 2018, got engaged in March 2019, and just recently in March 2021, after months of postponing their marriage, finally split, saying that they're better off as friends. No home run today, A-Rod. After they broke it off with both of their relationships, the well-awaited reunion is now in our midst. On April 30th, Page Six reported that both of them were photographed together. Affleck especially has been visiting and picking up Lopez multiple times in her Los Angeles home. Still, around this time, an insider has disclosed that they are merely friends, saying security picks him up at a nearby location and drops him off after spending a few hours at her house. But by now, we know that was a whole load of bulldogs. The whole world knew they were just more than friends when they jetted off to a week-long getaway to Montana. The insider says that they picked up where they left off and emphasized that they'd been in touch here and there because, after all, Jenna stated that Ben was her the one that got away. Now, both of them are getting serious. People are curious about their actual score and where they stand or if ever they'd finally be getting married at this point in their lives. Despite Lopez being in numerous failed marriages from before, she still feels hopeful that she might just find the one. We want the same thing for her. The couple did say that they are committed to each other but do not expect an engagement ring anytime soon. Sources say that, and I quote, They have been meshing their lives and families and don't feel the need to get engaged yet or even tie the knot, the source added. They have both been there and don't feel it's necessary. They are both very secure within their relationship and Ben worships her. It's truly meant to be, and everyone around them thinks they are a perfect match. So, what does Ben have to say? Not much, but his close friends say that he is delighted with J.Lo and that she's wonderful for him. But folks, that's all we need to know. Do you think their sources are again wrong and will finally see a Benefer wedding shortly? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.